here are 30 new things you can do inside FC24. You can play in a stadium which looks like the 1980s. If you load up a match in the Longville Stadium and increase the pitch wear and you put some marks on it, you are gonna get a stadium that is in the 1980s. This is so cool because you can see some normal homes in the background. Takes me back to the time when United used to win some trophies. In career mode, you will see a player agent behind you while you do treadmill reps. This agent is responsible for keeping you on taps so that you do not get overweight while on international breaks. This will help you get a desired club and also help you in your career so that you do not end up in Saudi Arabia at the age of 30 with an injury. You can blow your nose inside the game. When you go up close to the players, you'll see players blowing their noses in the game. You can even see some gooey mucus coming out of their nose sometimes. I would also like to see if EA adds the animation where Joachim Lowe eats his own mucus. Believe it or not, you can play Madden inside FC24. Case on a deep drop, steps up in the pocket, he'll fire to the right side, caught by Diggs! Oh, oh my god! Oh my oh god! god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my There was a funny glitch in the game. If you perform this skill move right here, the ball used to get stuck on your feet or your arms and the game used to turn into American football. Players abused this glitch and dodged their opponents with the ball in their hands. Check this out. Bruh. It was so hilarious to see this glitch online but I do feel for the players who lost so many important games due to this funny glitch and it's a good thing that EA have fixed it now. You can use your bum to pass in the game. This pass is extremely accurate and it depends who you use to perform it. And some footballers that I believe would be really good at passing this one would be to perform the bum pass, hold the LT L2 button and if the ball is approaching you at a mid-level height, your player will perform the bum pass if you perform a pass or a lob pass. The Anthony spin is inside the game. You remember this spin that Anthony did against Sheriff and then booted the ball out of nowhere? To perform this skill move, hold the L1 R1 button when the ball is approaching you and you will perform an Anthony spin and your teammates and opponents would literally want to kill you right there. Try doing this inside a pro clubs match and notice what your teammate says. Give me the fucking ball! Give me the fucking ball! In FC24, they added an acrobatic plus playstyles that makes your players do things things that they could never imagine they could do previously. This playstyle helps your players to perform acrobatic kicks like Erling Haaland and many other animations that you can pull off using this playstyle. There are even more rare kicks in the game where your player turns into a Japanese fighter. You can score directly from kickoff. No, not like that, but there's a glitch in the game. Check this out. When the kickoff starts, you pass the ball back to the nearest player. As the pass is going towards the nearest player, you can then double tap the L1 button. This will send your first player on a run. Turn and pass to the nearby player for a 1-2, but on the return pass, double tap the X button and you'll get a lifted pass on return. Press the L1 and triangle button and a through ball will go to your striker over the defense. This will send your striker straight at the goal. And all all you need to do is a perfect finish. But you know, EA actually tried to fix this glitch by placing a pole in the middle of the field. Jack Grealish starts the with Rodrigo. There are mascots in the game which you can add to your stadium. Every club has a different mascot and they look extremely cool on the pitch. But sometimes these mascots can even eat the players on the pitch. If your lob passing sucks in the game, there's a new missile pass in the game that you can point using this circle right here. Your missile will launch at the exact spot, this is what I'm talking about, will make your passing extremely accurate and the pass will land wherever you want. So if you hold R1 RB and then press the lob pass button, you will see the line for half of a second and you can use your left stick to exactly point the landing spot wherever you want. You can use a mobile phone in the game. When you go to the sidelines with Mario Balotelli, he will start doing the mobile celebration. He goes to the ad board and grabs a phone and poses on the camera. The only problem with this celebration that you have to score with Mario Balotelli which is almost impossible. And are you kidding? Serious? Mario Balotelli 
You can mod anything in the game these days. One of my favorite mods of FC24 that I've used is a Spider-Man mod and even a Minecraft mod. And obviously you also have to mention the Roblox mod and there's a fashion mod that lets you unlock all the outfits in the game. There are some other mods as well that make you invisible. But the try and some mods that let you change the gameplay of the game. One of my favorites is Ant James Gameplay Lab mod that makes the game extremely slow but realistic. Link for this mod is in the description below. You remember when Gareth Bale flicked the ball so far off Mark Batra that he could not catch him? You can do that in the game now and it's called Super Flick. Flick your right stick and click inside and you will see a super flick in the game. And you will see your player running super fast at the goal Wait a second, what happened to Mark Batra? Gareth Bale turned this guy into a non-rare with just one flick. When you shoot a power shot in the game, you can use the trick to aim your power shots better. And all you have to keep in mind is that you aim at the goalkeeper. Most people aim at the goal, which is a bigger target and harder to adjust your thumb for. You can aim your power shot at the goalkeeper instead and increase your accuracy in the process. If you get good at it in time, you can even do this. Struggling to defend in FC24, conceding easy goals in the game. Trying to open up the defense. Bruh. Well, that is That's probably because you don't know how to press the ball. Then you need to learn the partial team press. This is a mechanic in the game that will let you push the ball with two players if you double tap R1 and then hold R1 and two of your players will try to push the opponent and track the runs to win the ball back. If you can see too many goals online and your goals look like this. I'm passing it well. Nope. <laughs> uh, I have to say it, Onana is a horrible goalkeeper. Yeah. Chances are that you are not moving the goalkeeper. To move your goalkeeper, push your right stick in so that you can play around with the mind of your opponent online. The goalkeeper is off the line and he is fucked. Now it's time to score. He's running towards the goal and if he misses this, I will quit my job tonight and go home. This will be the easiest goal. Oh my God, Stuart, this guy needs to learn some finishing in the game. If you have to finish in FC24, you need the finish shot plus this year. Hold RB and this will help your player to curl the ball around the goalkeeper. You can even have the power shot plus and the ball goes like a rocket behind the goalkeeper. If your opponent is bringing out the goalkeeper in a corner and you throw the ball in, the goalkeeper is just gonna catch it because he's right there. But you can score a corner directly though. Just aim right here and look this much of a power and you can destroy your opponent's to think about it. Oh! These goals are so good that sometimes even the cameramen of this game go crazy. If you switch on the advanced defending in your settings tab, you can avoid this. This is bad. Oh. Have a when you have advanced defending, your players will use their back to seal out challenges Eat my ass, pigs! So make sure you use the new defending tactic and switch it on in the settings. If your tactics suck in the game and you concede a lot of goals online, it's possible that your teammates don't even move properly. If you want to fix that, you can copy these tactics right here that the pros are using and just win every game like a boss. The no-look shot in the game. When you press the L2 button and shoot with your player, your player will put a hand to his face to perform a no-look shot. This is really cool if you want to humiliate your opponents. And this is also very useful for players like Jackson so that they can cover up their faces after the abomination of a shot they take at the goal. When the ball is approaching you at a very awkward height and you want to take a header instead of a shot, press the L2 R2 button and your player will try their best to put the head on the ball, even if their life is on the line. So L2 R2 for header on demand. Not many people use this but if you press the L1 button twice you can make your player run behind the defense but if you press the R2 twice the same player will come close to you and ask for the ball to offer more support. There is a Laporte celebration in the game which you can obviously perform with him when you score a goal with Laporte and run to the camera. He takes his arms and makes a helicopter of some sorts. Hey guys, click on this video right here to know why that Korean guy is blowing a bubble gum on Premier League football pitch. 
All I'll say is that I won't leave from here until you click on the video. Thank you.